Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Coming to you guys today with a review on the Crafty 700 Watt Softbox Lighting Kit. So if you guys are interested in learning about that, stay tuned. Okay you guys, so let's get right into it. So, um, I purchased the 700 watt Crafty Softbox Lighting Kit from Overstock.com. I also purchased the Impal, I guess that's, let me see, check this out, yes, M-P-O-W, the Impal 3-in-1 Selfie Stick. Um, so I'm going to be doing a review on both of those. I bought them together, so I said, hey, let me do the review together. So, a little bit of a backstory, um, in case you're wondering why I um, chose softbox lighting as opposed to ring lights well I wear glasses and even now you can see like a bit of a reflection I'm not you know a professional so I don't know about like where the lights will be of course this video I'm filming right now is being filmed um with the softbox um lighting I have both of them on because you know two comes in the kit and what the issue that I was saying with other people who had glasses on in uh, on YouTube was that the ring light was showing the reflection of you were seeing the reflection of the ring light in the glasses. I didn't like that look and it also kind of took my attention away from like what the YouTuber was actually saying because the extreme glare was just so much like even right now like I'm looking here you can't really it's not that bad. I'm, you know what that was just I was just up here shining bright like a diamond. It was no, not even sweat. Okay, whatever. But um, the glare from the ring light was just way more dramatic than the glare from the softbox. I did my research and I was seeing a lot of um, YouTubers that were saying that they use the ring light and the softbox. But a lot of people were um, starting to use the softbox more because of the glare that you got back from the people that actually wear glasses. I didn't want to have to spend like one, two, three hundred dollars on it. So what I went and did was I went on Overstock.com and I typed in softbox lighting. Um, and they had like all of these different softbox lighting. I was looking on YouTube at the different wattages and things like that that people were getting for their softboxes because again, I am a brand spanking new YouTuber. I've been on YouTube, like I've watched YouTube videos for years, but like the actual lighting and everything to go like I had no clue about any of that like regarding like a good wattage or like some people talking about make sure your plug can take this I'm like huh so um I had seen one video where they were using an 800 watt softbox light and I was like okay well this is 700 watts so hopefully it won't be that bad um and then when I was looking at videos on 700 watt um softbox lights the lighting seemed like it would be pretty adequate so I was like okay you know I'll give it a try so I purchased it fantastic um i'm gonna be inserting video clips in here showing you like the softbox lighting and different lights and things like that of course i have a different outfit on because i took the video at a different time so i'm just gonna mesh everything together and hopefully it will make sense you guys hey you guys i just wanted to come to you really quickly with a like the light comparison part so this is my light at like about six o'clock in the evening um this is just the blinds completely open so this is what this light looks like and i'm going to compare this to the complete dark okay you guys this is my room with my blinds completely closed you can Okay, you guys, this is what it looks like when one soft box is on. So I got this soft box on, and I'm going to cut this soft box, box on. Be right back. Okay, you guys, and this is what it looks like with both soft box lights um, on with the blinds completely closed. Um, I have to adjust the heights and figure out which lighting variation works for me, um, but I'm pleased with it. And lastly, you guys, this is what the softbox lights look like with the blinds all the way open at 6 o'clock in the evening. So um, let's get down to the particulars really quickly right now. Um, the Crafty 700 Watt, let me get the actual name. The Crafty 700 Watt um, softbox lighting kit was purchased on July 1st as well as the Impal 3-in-1 selfie stick that was purchased on July 1st as well. I received the Crafty softbox lighting kit on the 5th of July and I received the Impal selfie, selfie stick on the 6th 
of July. The crappy softbox light was $59.99, which I thought was good because everybody who was on YouTube talking about softbox lighting, they were spending like one, two hundred dollars on softbox light. These lights were $59.99, you guys. The Impal selfie stick, the three in one selfie stick, it was $15.99. Now, the Impal selfie stick, it is just, I think it gets up to like, like three feet or something like that. It sits very good on my desk. I'll go ahead and insert a picture here. If you need like a full tripod from like the floor to the to the however high tripods go, this is not the one for you. This is one that you can sit on your desk and you can extend it. It fits perfectly for my um, S9 Plus, which is what I what I'm filming my videos on. So it fits um, with my phone perfectly. Before you guys, when I tell you my setup was like, girl, what 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 you doing, girl? Like my setup was crazy like absolutely crazy i'm talking books and stacks and all kind of like let me get a shoe box type stuff just so i can get the right angle and it still wasn't perfect i feel like um with this selfie stick which i'm filming this video on and it's also holding my s9 plus in the case very um firmly um i don't have to it's easier for me to get a good angle or an angle that i feel is that will suffice enough for me to make a video um and i really like the fact that i don't have to hold it in my hand or anything i don't have to worry about propping it up and the phone falling over mid video because it really wasn't supposed to be leaning that way in the first place so the selfie stick takes that worry away and then the softbox lights they take the worry away of having to beat the sunlight or worrying about if I have a lamp that's going to be bright enough so that when I film my videos my videos won't come out dark or anything like that so I have a softbox here and I have a softbox here I just have them like facing me because I know everybody's like well the light should be um behind you so we just bow but when i tell you i'm getting like a do the what, what we doing we doing glamour shot y'all what, what it do i don't hate it i don't hate it you know it's not the brightest of lights to me but i feel like if my walls were white it probably would be better i feel like this is the type of lighting that i'm getting and my walls are this color so I don't feel like that's bad, personally. I just don't. Um, I feel like if you are a small YouTuber, if you are a new YouTuber, or if you are just a YouTuber and you don't want to have to spend two, three hundred dollars on lights, if you have issues where you wear glasses like me and you don't want the ring light light glaring of uh, the glare showing in your glasses, I feel like this crappy softbox lighting is gonna be good for you. I've had it for like a week or so. I didn't want to come out and do a video right away because I actually wanted to see how um everything worked out with the lights. I didn't want to get them and then like the lights break and I'm like well I had them for a day y'all I should have waited to do my video because I just sat and raved about it and my light broke right after the video so I've had it for about a week it has like fallen over and on some it was really really windy one thing I will say about it is one con is the base of it is a little flimsy so like if my when my windows were open and it got a little windy like that bad boy fell over luckily it fell on the bed and the light was fine but um yeah what i've done is i take like little five pound weights and i'll go ahead and just put a little picture up in there you know and i just like rigged it where you know now i just sit the weights on the base part so that um i don't have to worry about it moving or getting knocked over or anything like that like if i'm not here and i'll leave my windows open i don't want to come back and the my softbox lights are not only knocked over i could always lower them down but i'm just like why because it's like i'm filming now i don't want to have to go through the hustle of always having to lift them up and put them back down like no so i have them in a spot that's stationary but in all honesty that's like the only that's like the only con that I could really think of because everything else, I'm really, I'm really pleased. Like, I'm really pleased. I was very apprehensive about purchasing it because I felt like, you know, everybody was making it seem like if you want some good softbox lighting, you're not going to pay less than $100. Well, 
I don't feel like this is so bad, you guys. My blinds are closed. It's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. My blinds are closed. But this is the light. Like, you saw the video of what my, my room looks like when the blinds are open with and without the softbox light in. So, you actually know, like, what it looks like when natural light is coming in. And the fact that there is no natural light coming in right now. And I'm still giving you, you know... Okay, I'm giving you something. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't feel bad. So, um, do I have anything else to say about this, you guys? Like, no. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get like break down the price. Break down the price. Okay. So, the total for it was the total for the crafty um 400 watt softbox lighting kit and the Empow 3-in-1 um, selfie stick, I got the paper right here, it was 75, no, yeah, it was 75.98. Then they gave me a $2.40 discount. I, I do not know why they gave me a discount, but they did. And then the tax was $4.60. And I think because it was like over $75 or something like that, I got free shipping, so I didn't pay for shipping. And my total came out to $78.18. So for under $100, under $80, I was able to get two 700 watt softbox lights, or I guess they together make 700 watts, whatever. Two softbox lights, 700 watts, and a three-in-one selfie stick. Like I said, like I know it's a lot of YouTubers that's out there like me that you want your videos to look professional because you do know the power of a professional looking video you do know the power of you being more you know you're being drawn more towards people who videos are crisper people who videos are more aesthetically pleasing they're not fuzzy and things like that they have good lighting i really think that this crappy softbox is the way to go you don't have to try to beat the the sunlight you don't have to worry about not having enough light because this is my complexion and it is lighting me up well. So, I Hey guys, really quickly, the Impal Selfie Stick also has a light that comes with it. So I wanted to show you guys the, um, the light levels. The light is actually attached to the Selfie Stick. You just click on the side of the light two times and the light comes on. This is the first level. This is the second level. And this is the third level, you guys. So there you have it. Okay, you guys, really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys what the crafty soft box looked like um, right out of the box. Um, this next picture is how it looked outside of the box that it came in, all of the individual pieces and everything like that. Um, the next video is going to actually be of the crafty setup. Now, you're going to get two of these crafty um, light stands. You're going to get uh, two crafty light heads, two crafty um, photo softbox reflectors with diffusers, which is this the white thing that's over it. You're going to get two 85 wide 5500k photo video fluorescent lighting bulbs and you're going to get one crafty convenient carrying bag and you're also going to get uh, two 10 foot power cords and those are just the cords that are attached to the softbox hey you guys so this is the crafty I think it's called like a shadow box. I didn't want to get the ring light for lighting because I wear glasses and I knew that the reflection would show in the glasses. So I haven't put the bulb in yet. Um, There were two of these in the package. So it's another one of these. I just felt like why well, I show you two. It's one and the same. I'll, I'll put pictures in of the light bulbs as well. They all have like levers to everything is lever for this. It's a lever for this all the way down to here. So lots of different ways to um, rotate the crappy and everything like that, you guys. I'm so excited. So um, back to the video. Like anybody, you know, darker the complexion, the, the lights will do well. I feel like lighter the, the uh, lights would do well. I feel like it's an all-around good wattage to me 
you know, you guys be the judge. I don't know. But I do feel like just starting out on YouTube, if you want to make sure that you have some lighting um, and you want to make sure that you like have like a selfie stick or something like that, if you want to vlog outside and things like that, I really do think that um, this selfie stick is the bomb. One thing that I did not that was really, really scary about the selfie stick, you guys, was this. So I will say, um, keep your cord because that was scary. I know everybody puts their items on chargers and walk away. I couldn't imagine putting this selfie stick on the charger and then coming back and my whole house is in flames because I couldn't find my charger. So I put it on a charger that fit it still and like, no, no. So be very cautious of that. Make sure you keep up with your cord. If you guys do decide to get this particular um, selfie stick, just putting it out there, you guys, because it would be a hurting thing. So that's it, y'all. So that is it from me, Candace the Aries, y'all. I'm so excited. I had to give y'all a little, a little what? What it do? Like what? A little, a little shoulder. Give you a little, give you a little stretch mark shoulder. A little stretch mark shoulder. What a little stretch mark shoulder ain't hurt nobody. It ain't never hurt nobody. So again, you guys, that's it for me, Candace the Aries. And I want you guys to always remember to enjoy the journey. Yeah.